we're live. I'm gonna wait for all of my Monday night live chatters to get here. So if you're watching this um, after the live, ignore me talking to them. <laughs> hey Moose. Hey Brian. Hi, Linda. How's Marigold? Things being bad. <laughs> As usual. Hi, Joy. Hi, Deirdre. Roxanne. Susan. Linda. Kathy. Irene. Larry. Doris. Wow. Everybody's here. Welcome, welcome. So tonight's going to be another straggler event. I have some stragglers here that we're going to paint, bloom, and get them done. I got one piece that's new um, that I want to try tonight, so I'll save that one for last so it doesn't stress me out because I'm already stressed out. <laughs> so last week we did all kinds of stuff. We did a box top. We did these cookie jars, candy jars, and some tiles. The tiles cracked. I put a little too much Aussie Flow Charl in, I think. And the box top, I just put resin on it today. Totally forgot it was from last week, so hopefully it'll be okay. But this is the cookie jar. Dried pretty. Can't wait to get some resin on this one. These I have to resin in the morning so I can babysit the drips because these get resined like this. Can't put them on my cup turner. Oops. Bang you guys. And this is the candy jar. I love the way it dried. It's really going to pop when I put the resin on it. So I was very happy with that one too. So tonight, I have two of these. These are filigree hex boxes. I've already um, stained and varnished the bottoms. But they kind of look like this. This is black stain that um, I varnish. Not paint, it's stain. So I have two of those, and then I have another square top to go with that box that I just showed you. So we'll do that one. I think I'm going to just do one bloom on these ones tonight. And then I have, this is new. I've had these for a while, trying to decide what I wanted to do with them. They're just frames, but they're box frames. So I thought I would do a bloom here. Just let the white paint roll on this and make these into a little mini clock because I have some real tiny clock works so I thought that would be kind of cool to do. I did tape it halfway so that it goes over the edge and then I will paint that edge really thin. <laughs> you want to be part of it too? Come here. He's been a little stinker today. Run around the house with my socks in his mouth and little stink pot. You, yeah, say hello, you want to come say hi? Um, you have the camera the opposite way. Yeah, so you have to go over there. Alright, here's Booga. Say hi, Finn. Hi, hi Finn. Finny. Finny, Minnie. Finny, Minnie, Moo, Moo. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He's cute. Say hi, Ellen. Say hi, Ellen. So four we took pounds, what, two ounces now? Four thirteen. Ooh. So, I think. 
We should weigh him. <laughs> he went to the groomer this weekend with Ellie and got his nails trimmed. But he peed -pee on the pad twice while we were there. Oh, are you tired now? Really? You've been a brat all day and now you're tired. That's nice. <laughs> he is cute. But don't let him fool you. He's also a shark. Baby shark. Baby shark. Wow, Marigold, 19 pounds. <laughs> he will never get that big. The biggest you'll get is about 16 pounds at the most. I don't think he's even going to get that big. So, got two different white house paints here too. I'm trying to use some stuff up and get some things used up. When I get back from the retreat, we're doing major overhaul. Well, I am anyway. I may have to hire someone to help me. Some free help. <laughs> <coughs> I could kidnap one of my retreaters and bring them home with me. Say, okay, clean my studio. You can paint when you're done. <laughs> Who would you do that to? I don't know. That is a good idea, Pat. Mm hmm So Pat suggested putting a Four Seasons paint picture in here. That would be cool. You could change it because there's the things to change it. So every season you could change it. Very good idea. I like when people think outside of the box. Get it, box? <laughs> Alright, so, let's get moving here. So I like doing these hexagon boxes. They're beautiful when they're resin because the top, it's just on the top and over the very lip. And then I paint this gold or silver. And the uh, stain is black, so it'll be really pretty. Alright, so for this one, I think I'm going to go with this. I picked three color combos so far. I was having difficulty with the fourth one. But I didn't turn around and look at the wall yet. So I think we're going to go with Peacock Feathers, Arctic Opal, Meadow, and I don't want this one. I want, I want this one. Listen. No, let's do Pino. <laughs> so hard to decide. But this is a new color from Color Art that I mixed and haven't used yet. I have quite a few that I haven't mixed and used yet. I think I have like 23 of them in there of new colors. Plus these ones I haven't used that were already mixed. But this is a pretty minty sage. I think it's pretty with the peacock feathers. And the Arctic Opal will bring out the um, pino. I'm getting better, better, Kathy. Yes, he sounds much better, Kath. He was horrible. So tonight we're going to use a blow dryer. Now the blow dryer that I'm using is no longer available on Amazon. But there is another one in my Amazon shop that's very similar that I have bought for the retreat, too. I don't know if I like these little spoons. They're kind of bendy. I didn't want to walk all the way around and get my sticks. So that pino has a little bit of a green undertone, so we might be all right. And I love the Arctic Opal. I think 
And I'm gonna switch to a different spoon. They're not as long and they're sturdier. But I love this color with green. Okay, let's get our white down. So make a nice little pillow. I'm going to push it over the edge so I don't have a line in case it starts to dry a little. You definitely, um, using house paint for the blooms is good because it's so stretchy so you can not lose your design as much as if you were using acrylics. All right, let's start with the peacock feathers since that's our darkest color. We're gonna load it up because we want it to go all the way to the edges. Here's where I'll put the Arctic Opal. Separating one color family from another. Now we'll do the meadow. I always end with an interference or a gold because that cell activator works great over an interference color. And that's when you get to see the true color of the interference color. Alright, I'm using black cell activator. I took the one that I played with last week and I added some older stuff to it because I wanted to see if me adding too much Aussie was the reason that we got a little breakage. So Larry's got a question. Yes. Which is the house paint? The base? The house paint is called Pillow. <clears throat> The base paints, which are your pigments, are untinted house paint, but they have to be high gloss. All right, let's blow this out. Let's start on low, just to move it a little bit. open up a little bit. Thank you. I think I'll get my airbrush in there. Just to push some of this set for a minute. Let those come up. And this will continue to change too. So the hair dryer I started on low to move the black around and then I went to high to glide the black over the colors. 
And yes, these paints are very thick. They're house paints, so they're very thick. Yeah, and you definitely do want to go slow. All right, let's spin her out a little bit. And that'll give it a chance to open up some more, too. Thank you, Shelly. Shelly just posted the link for that little hair dryer. Now, if you buy one, they have a cool button on them. So when you're working with acrylic pouring or blooming, you don't want the heat. So you can zip tie that cool button down. So that's all it does is blow cool air. Let's see if I can get some more of that to come up. thing and I just can't blow this thing anymore. <laughs> I can't do it. It's not made for my mouth. I'm going to spin it one more time but I want to see if I can get a little more up. Because this will change as it sits too. Yeah, well, when I first did it, Drea, I did a twist tie on it, and then Julie E. had seen me do it, so she used a zip tie, and I'm like, well, why didn't I think of a zip tie? I think I just grabbed what was in front of me first. There we go. This is going to open up. There's lots of stuff going on there. See them starting. So like in five minutes this will be totally different. I'm gonna pop that one off. I'm loving those colors together. They worked out pretty good. So when I paint this, I'll paint the side silver on this one. I like to dry those boxes flat. Hi, Kathy Clammer. Julia Lee is here also. Cool. Hi, Julia. I don't know if these spoons are worth washing because I really don't like them. They're not strong enough to stir with. use them up if I remember to pack them <laughs> I got so, my brain is fried I've been opening bins and I'm like I already packed that in another bin so I have to unpack that one and put that stuff away you get 18 days to pack yet do you want to take 18 days off from work to watch the dog so I can pack that would be wonderful Oh, sorry, it's in the dirty thing. It's in the dirty thing. And I didn't prep any cabs either. I meant to. The drawer's open over there. I get sidetracked when my messenger dings. <coughs> and my back is out, so Alan's going to be cracking my back tonight. Alright, let's do another hex. So I have in my head that I want this one gold edged. So we're going to use some mellow colors on this one. Something organic. 
I'm gonna say hello to the late arrivers, Kim Bevel, and Monica Strickland. Hello, ladies. So this Friday is our skin collaboration. <laughs> There's six of us, our creative dream team. So that starts at 6 p.m. on my channel. So don't forget to watch that. It's going to be fun. I'm anxious to see what everybody's made because we haven't showed each other anything. No cheating, huh? <clears throat> Brian's been super secretive. <laughs> Haven't you, Brian? So for this one, we're going to be using um, Color Art Persimmon. It's a beautiful color. this little piggy golden peach this little piggy rose quartz see what happens when they tip over upside down Oh, my mic is stuck there, so it's not going to be super shiny. My own fault. I tipped the bin over. And this one is Color Art Rustic Earth. It's got a really pretty brown rusty color. So I thought that'd look beautiful with the peach. So I think that's probably going to be my second color down. So let's start with the persimmon. Let's go with the rustic earth. I don't need a ton of this, but... I do want it to make an appearance. Linda Sariana says that's a gorgeous brown. It is super pretty. And then we'll go with the golden peach, which is probably one of my favorite colors from this little piggy. It's okay if I dripped. I even want to bring it on the outside edge a little bit. And then of course the rose quartz. Julia would like to know, who is the Rustic Brown from? The Rustic Brown is Color Art. I don't, I think it was in two ago, two sets ago. <clears throat> it wasn't in the past two sets. outer layer here too a little bit. Alright. Let's blow this one out. Open it up first.
Wow, those are really pretty cells. They're so pretty. Not the instant gratifying thing we got last week because my CA was too thin. <laughs> you have to be super careful because if you're getting cells, boom, like that. If it's drying in a warm room, it's, it's more than likely going to crater. I call them rivers, but it's not really cracking. It's just like it opens up and it looks horrible. You can fill it back in but I usually just redo. So I just start out high and just stay there until I see something starting to come up. And then I pull back. And all this has to fill back in before I can spin it. There's Mona. Hi, Mona. Yeah, we have Patty Sutherland joining us. Hello, everybody. Nancy says the edges of the bloom look like the folds of fabric. Gorgeous. That rose quartz is a beautiful interference color when you're using it with browns and peaches. Um, I have done other colors from color art, like sassafras and... I uh, wish I could remember the other name of the other one. It That golden peach and that rose quartz with those two is, is gorgeous too. I think it's autumn... Autumn leaf? I think that's the other one from Color Art. I have so many. I have like 200 of them, so it's hard to remember the names of all of them. So you get a couple of questions. Okay. Um, Moose wants to know, do you reuse canvases? And if so, do you wash them off or paint over what's already there? I The only canvases that I reuse are um, Dutch pour canvases where the paint has been super thin. And then it's Any other time I've had cracking. Sorry. Go ahead. It's my wants to know the colors with black are beautiful, no doubt. Have you done some palettes with white cell activator? I have, and the white cell activator gets stained by the color art pigments, and that's why I don't really like the white. But I have in the beginning when I was first doing blooms, I did a lot of white ones. But I was very disappointed when the... Uh, Cell activator turned purple or pink. So you definitely want to keep that white cell activator on top of a color that's opaque and not like a pigment. You'd want to use a regular tube paint. Laura Thompson, let's know, can anyone share the colors that you used on the, uh, the box top? She came in late. Oh, okay, I can go over it again. I used uh, Persimmon by Color Art. And then I added Color Arts Rustic Earth. And then, or was it the Golden Peach after that? I don't remember. And then I did the TLP, this little piggy Golden Peach. And my final color was the Rose Quartz from this little piggy. Kathy Carr says, what about using another brand other than Color Art? Would you use multiple brands? Yeah, I use Art Alchemy. I use Jacquard um, opaque colors. I use TLPs. I use. Um, what else have I tried? Besides the Praj Posse paints, I've used those too. I'm just getting the bottom of this box so I can get my hand under there. you looking for he blends right in with that bed you can't see him <laughs> he's looking for the dog and he was in his dog bed <laughs> he blends right in is 
This is going to be pretty when it dries. I just love the, the shine. Okay, I'm moving this one. After I get the last one done, I'll bring them back and show you how much they've changed. Because then I can put them up on a rack. The other one's loving that one. Yeah, that's a pretty color combo. Brian said, that one is sweet. Julia said, yes, beautiful. Julia says, dang girl, that's awesome. Vicki gives you a 10. I love color. I love monkeying around with different color palettes. A lot of people email me and ask me for color palettes. I probably should come up with my own cards. <laughs> Especially for the Praj Potsy paints because a lot of people don't know what colors look good together. But, um, yeah, I've been thinking about it. So I had to find time to do this stuff. I'm busy, 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 busy. Dear just says, yes, you should do cards. I hate, Gina DeLuca does it, you know, she's had them for a while. I hate stepping on someone's toes with that stuff, but I get a lot of requests. All right, now we're going to do the square. So last time we did the square, we did three blooms, three and a half. I think we did a couple halvesies and two full ones. What should we do? Should we do one or should we do multiple? Thank you, Julia. Multiple? Okay. I think I have enough of my... Of course, Brian says one green one. <laughs> of course he does. I have enough of my color place white. I like multiples because I like the look of more than one flower. So you want to keep your majority of your paint in the middle so when you spin it it pulls the centrifugal force will open up your blooms all right i'm not sure about this color palette at all i'm okay let me get rid of that one Okay, because I was going to do wine and roses, but I don't want to do that one. I want to do the mahogany because that's a new one. Leslie keeps putting all these new colors out. I go crazy. <laughs> it's like that when you're collecting something, it's like, oh, I got to have those. All right, this is mahogany. It's a super dark red. It's not a, a, all what I thought it was gonna look like from the jar, but it's super pretty. I'm trying to decipher Laura Thompson's question. I think she went, how long does a Blank does your paint leave when you leave a stream in a puddle? Yeah. For blooms? If you're talking about blooms, Laura, a uh, count of four should get you to number two. Said. Okay, here it is again. How long a trace is the pillow paint leave? Oh, the pillow paint. When you, yes, for blooms. Okay. So your pillow paint is just a tad bit thinner than your blooming paints. 
and your CA is thinner than all three. So let's say, let's say this is a two. So then you want these to be a one and you want your CA to be a three. So if you do a, let's say you write one, two, three, four down a piece of paper and put your dots of your colors in your CA and tip it, your CA or your um, base paints will be the first one at the top still. Your CA will be way down and your pillow will be midway. I used to say, and I, I get it to work this way too, I used to say everything should be the same consistency. It does work, but I'm trying to go back to the way that Shelly taught us how to do it because so many people say, well, this is what so-and-so says. I don't want to step on toes and you know what I mean? So I'm doing it back to the way we were taught to do it. But I can make it work with them all the same consistency. Let me get this other one stirred up and I'll show you the palette again. It's going to be a weird one. It's not something I would normally put together. Okay. So we have the mahogany. We also have color art mermaid scales. Then I'm going to put in color art pinky pinky swear this is probably from the valentine's um collection well the reason laura asked this question she said her first attempt cracked so bad and she hasn't tried it again because she's afraid oh uh, well the other thing is too you don't want any air moving in your room where you're drying your paintings cover them up and then this is glisten this will pull that bluish greenish to offset that mermaid scale. I looked to see what color it was again. <laughs> All right. Let's try the mahogany first. And this one will use my little blower on. Then we're going to do the mermaid scales. Anybody else freaking out yet? Because I am. Don't be afraid. That's good. Okay, pinky swear. You don't need a lot of paint when you're doing these little blooms. Half a spoon. And this is, of course, the glisten. We'll add some cell activator. You don't want to use a lot on this either because you don't need to blow it out that far. So just a little dab will do ya. Alright, so I'm going to blow out five petals. Julia says the mahogany always takes over for her. Well, I have it on the bottom. We'll see. There it is. All right, we're gonna leave that. We'll come. We'll come play with it later. We'll do some uh, modification. All right, let's go over here. Okay, if you drip, it's not a big deal. It'll come off.
Ryan says he needs those nozzles for the microblower. Where's he? He's talking about. I was gonna put something in here to raise this up a little bit tonight, but and when I thought about it, I was like, well, when I spin gonna go flying. Alright, let's do two little halvesies. So when I say halvesies, it's just a couple of petals. Maybe three. So we're gonna go closer to the... Well, let's see what we can do. It's gonna go off anyways when we spin it. Most of it. Brian says the nozzle on the blower you had in your hand. What about it? He, wanted to, he said he needs some of those and he needs to know where to get them. Oh, Tracy Reed has them. Yeah. Uh, Shelly posted that. I just ordered two more sets from her for the retreat. Because I bought three of the little leaf blowers. I want everybody to have fun playing and not have to share all the toys, all the gadgets and We'll have enough for everybody during their shift. So if you are interested in attending our retreat next year, pop me an email because I'm booking already. I have seven on my list already. They're paid deposits. I'm going to blow these out, but I really don't need them, but I want to get that black out of there. Okay, one more here. I might bring this one in and maybe take over part of that. To make it just a smidge bigger. wasn't sure on these colors, but you know what? I'm not minding them. I'm not hating it. <laughs> Say hello to Angie. Glad you join join us. Okay, let's get this on. Angie was dipping boxes last night, Elle. You missed it. Okay. See now how I let those go and I didn't mess with them and they all developed pretty well. Alright, so I'm going to go back to those and pull in some petals. And you said the boxes needed sanding and redone. They are very rough. Yeah. You know, if you do that too, put some wood conditioner on them. That way it'll absorb the paint evenly. I want you to go watch that, though, that Larry did the book. I was telling you about it. That was pretty darn cool. So if you guys could go give a look-see 
Shelly can post the link to their channel. Larry poured over a, a book that he mounted to a piece of wood and added a butterfly and it was beautiful. He's got ideas in his head. It's kind of scary. <laughs> That's what you say about my ideas. Yeah. I'm not afraid of your ideas, though. You're afraid of Larry's? No, if you had ideas like Larry, I would probably be afraid. Michelle Alenick says, tutorials have been great. She said, you're awesome for showing or sharing, Christina. Oh, you're welcome. I think I want to pull a couple of squigglies in the middle. Because I don't like that loop, and I don't like this one either. So I'm just going to come in and do just a little skewer dive in there. When I first started my YouTube channel, that's all I did was teach. And I said I was never going to be a teacher. I was just going to paint and have fun. But we took it there. <laughs> we went there. <laughs> Let me come this way a little bit. Because I really like the way those are laying. I don't mind if that goes off. Okay, let's give her a spin. Gentle. Say hello to Shannon from Shannon Shack. <gasps> they all went off. I'm not minding that right there, though. Let me see how thick it is. If it centers one to the edges. Yeah, I don't like that. I could put a flower right there, though. Let's do that. And then I can spin it a little more. Evelyn wants to know, is that a tile? No, this is a box top. A flat box. I bought them from um, Michael's to try. They're super paper thin. But I did sand it. And I did put a little wood conditioner on it. And I dry these flat. I don't prop them up on cups because they may warp. And even if they do warp a little bit and you catch it, if you hurry up and get it flat, as it dries, it'll straighten itself out. I love these edges. Mm. You know, guys, I'm going to have to spin this a little bit more with this one. I'm a scared about that. Don't be scared. I'm not scared. It's scrapable. I'm going to go down here. Alright, let me pull that one in. This one we're going to have to let it set for a few minutes though before we tilt because I'm pretty shallow there. Let's let that set. May end up having a big bloom with just some little tiny petals on the edges. <laughs> what would you say? It's scrapable. It's scrapable. can see, I'm looking at an angle and I can see how much paint is right here. 
So Linda Lawless says, spin it gently. Yeah, well, I did on the first one, and look how much we lost. Can you imagine if I would have whipped it? We probably would have ended up with a white center. <laughs> Brian says you did whip it. I didn't whip it. If I did, my whole side would be really red. It is pretty, though, in the middle. All right, let's give it a gentle. We just want to open it up. Come this way a little bit. See how it's still moving? Very slowly. I can't leave that much paint on there. Okay. Super wimpy. Dana from Dana's Creative Dabble says, Darn, I fell asleep. What did I miss? We're just blooming. I'm going to give it one more. Mary Ellen said she scraped one today. But the, she's glad the second attempt came out okay. We totally lost those other four flowers. What flowers? I don't like this one the way it is with just the one now. Guess what I'm doing, guys? You're, you're doing a Mary Ellen. I'm going to scrape. Because I can't add to it. If I add on top of it, it'll look really stupid. So, say bye-bye now. And Julie B's like, no. Let, let me whip it one more time. Nate says it's scrapable. Angie's like, no, I love it. Joy E's like, scrape. We got people in, bye bye. <laughs> See you later, alligator. How painful was that for some of you? That's not painful. If that's painful, then I wouldn't want to be at your house painting. <laughs> There's no crying. <laughs> no crying in the parage? No crying in my parage, no. I don't think I've ever gotten upset over something, have I? Where I cried? Moose no. is like, I need to learn to scrape more. <laughs> yeah. If you don't, if you look at it and it's not like taking your breath away, start over. And if the second one comes out the same way, then you can say, oh, I like the first one first. <laughs> I like the first one better. <laughs> I do that a lot. I'll say, oh, that first one was better. It happens. There's no shame in scraping. No. So what lesson did we learn there? We had too much paint on there. Nate said, I could have embellished it. I know you could have, Nate. Nate was my lifesaver. <laughs> I used to love it when he'd call me and show me a painting and say, what should I do with this? And I'd say, oh, that looks like a fairy house, like a, like a fairy farm, fairy woodland. So then I'd say, you put the house there. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, I got two different house paints here. I don't know how this is going to play. So this one is the Velspar 2000. Every time I stir it, it still looks like I didn't stir it. It's weird. Now we know, I'm going to give it a gentle spin to even out the paint. Beth Benson says, Nate, sure, you say that after she scraped it. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. We're going to put our, center, our flowers closer to the center. I have plenty of paint. So 
So many people say, oh my goodness, the Aussie flow trial is so expensive. Have you bought a gallon of untinted house paint lately? <laughs> Holy cow. Yes, it lasts pretty long, but so does the Aussie flow trial if you think about it. You're only using three tablespoons, so, for a cup of paint. Oh, it's over here. I was like, where did my cell activator go? All right, back to square one. That one's got to go a little bit more. Even though we're going to lose it when I spin it. So Evelyn says, how much for the Aussie? Um, if you get it on eBay, it's like... 59 I think um, fluid art and that's with free shipping well the shipping included I should say fluid art co is 60 bucks I think plus shipping and then pixel paints has it she's in Florida I think hers is $60 too but you still have to pay the shipping if you buy enough product from them, you can get free shipping, but you gotta buy a lot. I just order it from eBay. I haven't had any problems with the wholesale paint company from Australia. I've never had a bad batch. I've never had one that leaked. And I've bought six, I think. Not bad for, what, three years of blooming? I don't bloom up all the time like some people do, though. But when I do bloom, I bloom for days till I use up all my stuff. I want those to overlap, by the way. Shannon, I would not recommend that the hubby, hubby says. So the best way to plant packs of a painted dry is stick your finger right in the middle. You've done that to me. When I first started painting. Well, this is cool. I like that center. <laughs> is that resin dry yet? Oops. Mm -hmm. I don't let them anywhere near my resin stuff. Don't let them fool you. That area is blacked off. I did some today. I did some box tops today. And put the first coats on, put them in the bun rack, and walked away. Shut the light off, walked away. Won't touch them again till tomorrow when they get their sanding in second coat. And then they have to baby them a little bit. too close, didn't I? Yikes. But it'll be a cluster. I'm going to mess with that. Don't worry about it yet. Don't you break it. wants to know, do you do your sanding outside? No. I have a ventilation system in here. And I wear my respirator. And I don't allow my puppers out here when I'm doing resin work. It's usually when Alan's home. <laughs> and I close the door and say, don't come out here. But today, Finn was in the house playing with my son. So 
It only took me 15 minutes to do four boxes. I think I spent more time stirring and applying than anything else. And bubbles and I didn't have any lint so I was good. And it doesn't really matter on first coats because you're going to sand it and redo it anyway. So. Just don't want any chunks of anything. Alright, I'm kind of liking this clustered like that, but I do want to go in and make a little bit of movement in there. I just got paint on my face, didn't I? On my lips. I was going to take a drink of tea. I touched myself. <laughs> Pulling these in real quick. This right. one's really pretty. So you blew five directions on all but one of those. <coughs> they all got five, didn't they? This one only got four, didn't it? Yeah. That's okay. It's not going to matter. Not all, all flowers have five. <laughs> Good night, Julia. Thank you for joining us. I want to bring that one in. Hope you feel better. She's sick. I don't know if you guys knew or not, but Mylene is very sick. I sent Dave a message to see how she was doing today. Brian said you weirded him out by only doing four petals on the one. Oh. Sorry, Brian. There's no rule, Brian. <laughs> he always tells me there's no rules. All right, here we go. It's okay. Baby spin, open it up. Because I already can tell that I'm not going to like the middle. Don't you like? I don't like this. This box might be mine to keep. It's my own fault I put those flowers too close together. I tried. Alright, let's open it up. Let's give it the spin it deserves. I really like this and this coming in like that. I have the one on the top. What one? This one? No. Nope. What are you talking about? This oh, one? That one right there. I don't know. The whole center sold out. This one will probably open up a little bit more because that was the last one we did. I know it's funky. I like it. That's why I don't want to know if I, I don't, I know I'm not going to scrape it now, but I might want to spin it some more. Somebody was betting that you would scrape it again. I think it was Linda. I love this coming in. I love this coming down. I'm not minding this, it's this right here. It has no flow to it. But I really do love that look of that. Mary Ellen says it kind of looks like a hummingbird feeding. 
naked paint a hummingbird on here for me. <laughs> Nate said something about his uh, pens, using his pens. I'm going to leave it alone. Because this is going to probably open up some more. I hope that doesn't change. Though. I really like that. And I don't want to spin it again because then I'll lose it. But it could come this way. Hold on, guys. Hold on. So I'll give it a little centrifugal force this way. Let's see if we can take some of that corner off. Nancy says she loves the blue feathering. Yeah, I didn't lose that. Actually, that got brought down a little bit from me moving it. But, ugh, that didn't change at all. I'm not minding that, though. It's not that bad. But I did lose a little red there because I put my finger there when it was going around. Nate says, hummingbirds, I got this. Nate, right in this bottom right corner. And maybe one here. So I'll let this dry. Then I'll send it to Nate. Because I love that top left corner. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? And then I love the, the way this one comes out. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to leave it alone. Not touching it. Everybody's like, don't touch it. It's just like, throw it on the rack, huh? Pat Terry says, this is my first time watching you, and I love it. Oh, good. We do You're this welcome, every Pat. Monday. <laughs> and on Thursday nights, we um, do tutorials. I haven't decided what I'm doing Thursday night yet. I'm torn. Brian says, Vic's going to beat you up. Why? Because she was afraid you were going to touch it. Okay. So now we get to play with that new thing. Let me close these up. And I haven't decided on colors for that yet. I have so many colors sitting out here that I haven't put away yet. I need to clean all these up and get them ready to... Some of these are going to the retreat already mixed. So we don't spend all our time mixing colors. I have so many. Last time I counted my wall, I had 150 mixed. And I've mixed more since then, but I have used up a few. The bigger question is how many more have you not mixed? Yet? I have... Um, 26 that I have not mixed colors that I probably will mix for the retreat. Okay, so Sheena Davis wants to know, have you ever done geodes? No, I have no want to do one. <laughs> They're pretty, um, but I'm just not into that. I like florals and I like abstracty stuff. Brian's like, uh, new thing? Not the secret new thing. This thing. This frame that we're going to change into a clock. I have five more of these. <laughs> we'll see how this one comes out. I definitely need to stir that paint some, the white paint, because it was streaky. I think it was because I got some of the other paint in it. So I want to keep it neutral, since it's a new thing. I have over here. Oh my 
goodness, I have so many. Cheated in says, I love them all, Christina, but I must say your work is always beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, let's do, we'll do one we've done before. Okay, Tara wants to know how big is the opening in that top? Um, I'll tell you in a second. Three and a half by five photo. And it's glass, and this is the back. I got these at Hobby Lobby um, during a half price sale because I would never pay six dollars for these because they're I did go through and put wood filler in and filled all the little nail holes because they aren't the prettiest things when you buy them <coughs> prepping is important okay and the reason I'm coughing is because my back's out guys I can't, it, it makes it hard for me to breathe and then I cough. Alan's gonna fix it. Right, Alan? You can say so. Okay. All right, so we're gonna use caramel drizzle from this little piggy. And we're going to use Mystical Mauve from Color Arch. I love this mauve, and I think I've said it before. I used to wear a nail polish this color called, from OPI, called Mother Road Rose. All the years I was doing nails, this was the color I put on everybody. <laughs> Doris is trying to sound like Brian. She says, Hobby Lobby's Wood Stuffs is 50% this week. Yep. I already ordered plenty. Don't yell at me. Last week it was cookie jars. This week it's boxes. Shannon wants to know, what is that green color? I don't have a green. This one is Emperor's Gold from Color Art. And I'm going to throw a freesia in there. Let's mix up the party here. It's going to be a purpley interference. I think it'll look good with this. And this is from Color Art, too. So we're going all Color Art on this one. X want my now we're not. Because that's TLB. I lied. So we're going to start with that caramel drizzle, though. i got to be careful with the gold, because gold likes to take over. So that's probably going to be my second color. So Shannon's talk, she said the teal color on the, on the table in front of you. This one? That's uh, Laguna Az Azul from Color Art. It's gorgeous. It's a blue green. Yeah. Oh, this is one. mermaid scales from Color Art. The thing with Color Art is she doesn't always have these colors. Like she'll do a kit and then she puts colors in the vault. Because I'm like a big fan of Azurite. So when I order it, I have to like put a note in my order order one that I don't really want and then she'll pull the Asia right and replace it but I have to let her know that okay so I'm just getting this covered and then I'm gonna spin it because I wanna put a little puddle here Mo says she needs to get into her vault can you imagine how much she's got in there all the colors that she's come out with Good night, Andrew. Thank you for joining us. Good Sorry night. About no wins in bingo tonight. All right. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my stick for my puddle. Because we don't want a ton of paint on here. 
and I'll probably have to move this box over when I spin it because I really don't care about this. It's covered. Okay. Caramel drizzle first. Emperor's gold. I don't want to use a ton. This is TLP makes a harvest gold that takes over too. You gotta be really careful. All right, mystical mauve from Color Art. I want to call it Mother Road Rose. <laughs> okay, and then our freesia. Now. This is not going to be a flower. This is going to be a bloom. So I got to make sure I keep that centered. I need to re-level my table, I think, babe. I think we might have kicked out a tile when we moved it. Just a dab more. Now, do I want to do it with my blower, or do I want to do it with my hair dryer? Oh, decisions. I think I'm going to do it with the little blower, so I have more control. Okay, here we go, guys. Hopefully those will go down inside when I spin it, so I don't like that. Alright, I'm going to pull this to the middle while I can. I think I'm clear to spin on that. I'm mumbling, sorry. doing me. See the purple that I got from it though? I don't know if you guys can see that though. So. Oof, where's my color? I didn't blow it off. Hello down there. Where are you? I was afraid to use the other cell activator because I thought I'd get all cracks. That's I don't want to deal with that. So let's let's just give it a gentle spin to open it up a little bit so it can try to develop on its own. Did I put that no I didn't. Cause this will get whipped yet. Because I want to fill it up a little bit. That didn't open it up hardly at all. Shelly so wants to know you're talking to your pain again? No, I'm talking, talking, just talking to that my inner child. <laughs> I'm talking to the the P Picasso or Van Gogh or whoever my spirit artist is. <laughs> Those voices in my head. Oh, come on, open up. 
it's coming very slowly. I can't give it a good spin until I get a little more of that color up yet. And it may want to pull some tendrils out or something. Let me, let me hit it again with the airbrush a little bit. Let's give it a shot. And then I'll spin it. It's bringing up some white and I don't like it. I love this right here. Why can't the whole thing be like that? <laughs> Maybe I needed to put more color down. Can I do a bloom over a bloom? Of course I can. Let's give it another one. We're not going to scrape it or anything. We're going to add to it. Because I can. <laughs> and yes, I watched one of those yesterday, and that's why I said that. If anybody knows what I'm talking about. Just needs more color. Yes, Brian. <laughs> Brian, seriously, you'd want me to swipe it? For reals? Not happening. Okay. get that color over there first. And it's okay to do this, guys. Don't be afraid to put a bloom over a bloom. Because when you tilt it out, the bottom bloom will carry your top bloom. wishing I would have used my other CA. But now I should get color because the white is buried. Let's let that sit. Priscilla's fun to watch. She really is. She cracks me up sometimes. She has got... I just love how like groovy and funky her stuff is, you know? I'm just doing this to play a little bit because I don't know how much of this is going to go over. So before it gets too thick on the ends, I want to do pull a little bit out. I got a little. See that? That's the one thing I don't like about the caramel drizzle. It breaks. 
All right, let me spin it. We're going to let it sit. Let it do its thing. A couple of people are asking, who is Priscilla? Priscilla Betzel. She has a YouTube channel. I don't know what the name of her channel is now. I think she changed it. I haven't watched her in years, but she was on the uh, color art train. So I have breakage here. So I'm going to spin it one more time, but I'm going to come this way. thinks it's Expression Art Studio. Yeah, it's something like that. One more. I gotta get that breakage off. It's going. It's going. I can scrape this and pull away here. I'm not worried about that. I still want to give it one more though, coming this way. Mm. That caramel just broke. Look at Alan. It's not even flocculation, it's breakage. I don't get it why it does that. I've had that happen with that caramel before. It's like the browns do that. Hi. <laughs> He's like, wow, you make your do-overs look great. There, it went down over. Unless I can scrape those two off and I'll be okay. I can probably hit this with some pigment mixed with a little Liquitex pouring medium and color those spots back in when it dries. But I want to fix this before I do that, before I take it off of here. Thank you, Kathy. So the clock hands will be gold on this one, and the side of the box will be gold. I know a lot of people are scared to go in and touch things up after they do a pour. I was like that for a couple of years, actually, and then I, Nate kind of broke me that. Like, just touch it. Paint it. Put a paintbrush there. <laughs> Don't be afraid of it. What's the most you're going to do to it, right? So I paint over it. Pull that. I'm gonna see if I can drag it over. Yeah, I don't want to bloom this, but because I might put some gold leaf here. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see how it matches. Grabbing the edge of the color and pulling it this way a little bit. I don't have a lot to work with, so I'm just grabbing the tiny edge. Oh, a 
little too deep. I could sit and fuss and fuss and fuss. And I get to a point where I'm like, screw it, I'm done, leave it. House paint does not dry as smooth as acrylic paint, so you got to get it almost there. And that's close enough. Ta-da! <laughs> but I'll fix those spots with um, TLP. Yeah, we can, I can actually glaze this part a little gold too to match the bloom. I like to leave everything white because it's always changeable. But if I would have done this on black with the breakage, it would have looked horrible. But it is pretty. It's going to be a pretty clock. I'll put a little clock there. So, let me move this, and I'll show you the first two, because they've changed. Oh my goodness, I have so many pigments to put away. You know these round tubs? I have two of them full. Because <laughs> I was writing recipes down, and I never put them away, so now i got to put them all away. And I always keep a cup of hot water to throw my spoons in. So I can just take them out of there, put them in another cup of water, and wash them up. Easy peasy. So I'm going to tell you one thing about house paints, guys. I do not like the Valspar anymore. <laughs> I prefer the Walmart Color Place. And I have not tried the PPG. I do have two gallons of it. We're going to play with it at the retreat. So I'm also going to bring probably one of my color places in case we can't get the PPG to work good. It's the beach thing, you know, the humidity and all that. All right, let me move it. I got to put some fresh gloves on. I don't know why I'm wiping paint off. What are you doing? No, we're not chewing cords. Uh-uh. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Want to ride on my foot? Ben again. He's hiding. He's hiding from you. <laughs> He's between my legs. Like, don't let him take me, Mom. No, you just want my shoes. Stop biting my toes, mister. It hurts. Alright, I gotta move this so I can get the other two. Here's the first one. It's already opening up beautifully. number two so all the places where we didn't have cells it opened up in there I love that color combo And 
And then here's our box top. Oops. And I hit it on the side. That's okay. That's not gonna matter. That's my keeper anyway. So that's how I dry them, just like this, because I tape the edge off so I can resin over the lip. And this way, they, I'll move these tomorrow morning from, from here to another area so that um, it's not setting on wet paint like that. So I'll just keep moving them as they dry. It only takes a day or so for these to dry, though. Yeah, it ended up being pretty. I'm not minding it. It's funky. Maybe it'll be a giveaway on a Monday night. We'll see. Since everybody watched me scrape the first one. <laughs> and it's not, it's not perfect, right? <laughs> it doesn't live up to my standards. So any questions before I head out? Oh, yes, and Nate wants to put a hummingbird on it. I have to send it to Nate, guys. And then I can resin it. Question from Pat. I didn't see the question. It'll be going this way. Straight up and down. The box will be the length ways because the photo goes that way. I guess it wouldn't matter. It doesn't matter which way I put the clock because the back turns and you can turn the clock to another direction anyway. Uh -huh. Clocks are not um, set in stone when you get them on a, on a... I don't put numbers on them, so... That's where I get away with that because I don't put numbers on a clock. Everybody knows how to read a clock. At least everybody our age, right? We didn't learn digital. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys for coming. Don't forget Doris is tomorrow night at 7 p.m. And then we have our tutorial Thursday at 8 p.m. on Thursday and then we have Mona right after my tutorial she'll be doing her premiere and Friday at 6 p.m. on my channel starts our six collabs so they're half hours a half 30 minutes a piece so we won't get done for a while but oh my god they're gonna be so much fun to watch we went out of the box on these guys, and like I said, we don't even know what each other did. So, we will see you on Thursday, or tomorrow at Doris's and Thursday here. And uh, take care, and have a great night. Have a wonderful evening. Bye now. <laughs>